I'm Jessica. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, we will be making um, the Willow wristlet from So Majestic. This is part of the marathon series from um, Marathon Society. So uh, this came out really well. I actually decreased my pattern. I did 85% on here instead of the full size. Um, it's pretty small, but it's still kind of big. Um, anyways, the material I used is, um, this is from Zipper Valley and it's new fabric that they carry. It is called Dave Flex fabric. And if you have used fabric therapies, uh, Theratex, or maybe you've used Dragon Sheen from, J and R Edwards textiles. This is exactly what it feels like. You don't have to interface it, which is what I love about using this kind of material. The inside, I used a water resistant canvas. It is in hot pink. It is from Mormino. Um, this turned out really well. I did not interface any of this material only because I just made it for my daughter. She had asked me if I could make her something using this fabric and I don't think she really needs all of the structure in this. Um, I mentioned in the video that Amber, the designer, in, the designer for this pattern, she has a full um, for this. So if you want to see it from very beginning to very end, step by step, you could always check out her video. The link will be in the description. Sorry for the dogs, um, but anyway. This came out really cute. It's perfect size for a little girl or even you. You can make it into a crossbody if you would like. It's totally up to you. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me today for the marathon. I hope you will follow along and watch everybody. We work really hard for these. And thank you to Amber from So Majestic for allowing us to use your pattern in today's marathon. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and go over our pieces. We have the main panel, which is A. You're going to have two for the exterior, and then I'm going to be using two lining pieces. I will not be doing the credit card slots for mine, so I'll have two lining. This is waterproof canvas. I believe this is from, or it's water resistant canvas, excuse me. I think it's from um, Mormino. So I've got four pieces in total for the main panels. And then you've got the zipper gusset. I have two for the exterior and then two for the lining. And then we have our gusset, which is pattern piece B. I've got my exterior and then one for my lining. My zipper, I'm using number five zipper. It is longer than it needs to be. I like to do that on purpose. I will be using webbing for the wristlet strap. You can also do a crossbody strap if you'd like or use a chain. And then I've got one piece of water resistant canvas. This is for the tab. I just have it long and I'll end up cutting them in half once we get to that point. And then for the binding, I will be using this um, what is this called? The elastic, fold over elastic for the binding. And then I've got a number five zipper pool. And then I've got two D rings, which I don't need to. I just need one D ring. But if you're making this into a crossbody, then you'll definitely want to have two D rings. And then you'll need a swivel hook. All right, so that is all of the pattern pieces that I will need to make mine. The first thing I'm gonna start off with is my main panels. I am going to go ahead and sew these together. So what I'm gonna do is take my exterior and I'm going to lay it so that it is right side down. And then I'm gonna take my interior, my lining, and I'm going to place it so that it is wrong side down. So these pieces should be wrong sides together. And I'm gonna go ahead and clip around all of the edges. And then what we're gonna do is sew this together. 
at an eighth of an inch seam allowance all around all of the edges. So let's go ahead to the machine and start facing this down. All right, so my main panels are now complete. I love the hot pink with the Stay Flex fabric. It looks really good. Now, if you wanted to do the card slots on one of your main panels, you could watch the designer's video. Amber was so majestic. Um, she has a full tutorial on how to make this bag. She has every single step for you. I will link her video down below if you're interested to see that. All right, so I am all done with my main panel. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this to the side. And now I'm gonna start working on the zipper panels. So you'll need your zipper, the zipper pull, and your lining and exterior of your zipper panels. You'll need to mark the center of your zipper and your zipper panels. I don't recommend snipping into your zipper because later on it could fray with time and use. So you might wanna just use a marking tool instead. I went ahead and put my zipper pull on. Make sure that you do that. Don't forget to do that. Many of us have done this. I know myself many times. So don't forget to put that zipper pull on. So go ahead and grab an exterior and a lining. I'm going to go ahead and keep my zipper face up right now. And I'm going to go ahead and take my exterior and I'm going to line up the centers that I have marked. I have my zipper tape a lot longer than it needs to be. Grab some clips. So right now your exterior and your zipper teeth should be right sides together and go ahead and clip along the top edge. And then we are going to baste that in place. All right, so we've got the exterior sewn on our zipper. We're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna flip this so that the back of the zipper is facing me. And then I'm gonna take this so that the zipper panel for the lining is right sides down. I'm going to match up those centers and clip that top edge. And then we are going to sew this down at the seam allowance that's given in the pattern. All right, we've got one side done. So now we're going to go ahead and fold both of our exterior fabric and lining fabric away from the zipper so that they are wrong sides together. And we are going to go ahead and top stitch at an eighth of an inch seam allowance. All right, I've got this all ready to go to go ahead and top stitch. And after we top stitch this, we are going to go ahead and start working on the other side of our zipper panel. So we've got this top stitched. I'm going to go ahead and lay this so that the zipper is right side up. The zipper teeth is right side up and I'm going to go ahead and take my exterior panel and lay it so that it's right size down matching the center. I'm going to go ahead and clip that top edge and then we will baste this down. All right, so the other side of the exterior is basted on. I'm going to go ahead and flip this so that I'm looking at the back of the zipper and I'm going to go ahead and take my other zipper lining and place it so that they are right sides, well, not right sides together. You're gonna place your panel, your lining, right side down, and then you should be looking at the back of your zipper. So we're gonna go ahead and clip that into place, and then we'll sew this down at the seam allowance given in the pattern. All right, we've got the exterior and lining sewn on the zipper, so now we're gonna go ahead and fold our panels away from the zipper so they're wrong sides together. You can use an iron if you'd like. I'm not gonna do that. I'll go ahead and clip the bottom so that my panels are clipped together. And I'll go ahead and top stitch. All right, so both sides are top stitch. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna sew around all four sides. Make sure if you're doing it like I am to pull that zipper inside. You don't want to leave the zipper up here and forget about it. All right, so let's go ahead to the machine and sew 
spaced all of that down. All right, the zipper panel is complete. How pretty is that though? Oh, all right. I think the next thing now is to work on the tab. I don't know why, but I was thinking I was doing two tabs, but I'm not. I'm just doing one to do a, um, a wristlet. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this in half real quick. Set one aside for another time. I already have the centers marked in on the center of this. I'm just using quarter inch double-sided tape here. This is from Weft and Warp. I get it from Mormino. All right, I'm just gonna pull the raw edges to meet the center marks that I have made. All right, so I'm gonna take this to the machine and sew down on both edges, the long edges, at an eighth of an inch seam allowance. All right, so this has been top stitched. I went ahead and singed all of my edges as well since this is water resistant canvas. Uh, it should be fine though. And then I'm gonna go ahead and grab my D-ring and place it so that my raw edges are against the bar and pull your wrong sides together to meet the ends. And I'm just going to go ahead and baste my ends down. You don't have to do that. You can clip it if you like, but I'm going to go ahead and just do a quick baste. All right. So now what you want to do is figure out what side you would like your D ring tab to be on. Honestly, for mine, it doesn't matter. Um, but to you, maybe it does. I'm just going to go ahead and place it so that my raw edge meets the raw edge of my tab there like so. Um, you could leave it overhanging a little bit if you'd like. I think I am going to leave it overhanging just a little bit and I'm going to go ahead and clip that together and then I'm going to go to the machine and I'm going to baste that down. You want to make sure that your tab is um, going the direction towards the zipper and not away from the zipper. All right, so let's go ahead and baste that down. All right, there we go. We've got that all completed. That looks really good. So now we're going to go ahead and work on our gusset panel. I'm going to go ahead and set this to the side for a moment. Or maybe I'm not. I'm just kidding. I don't know why I did that. We're going to bring this back. All right. So what you want to do now is make sure that when you put these together, they are the same width because if they're not, you definitely want to go ahead and trim it down. And so far it's actually looking pretty good. Um, let me check. Yep. This side's looking really good too. Wow. That's pretty good. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my exterior gusset and I'm going to take my zipper panel and I'm going to lay these so they are matching the short edges and I'm going to clip them together. And then what we're going to do is sew this down at the seam allowance that's given in the pattern. All right. Just like so. All right. So let's go ahead to the machine and sew that down. All right, so that is sewn on. Make sure when you do that on the side of your zipper tabs, make sure that zipper tab is down. You don't want to have this up, okay? You want to have it down. So now what we're going to do is take our lining piece and we are going to lay it so that it's right sides down. And this is also the right size, so make sure that's also the right size it should be since they're the same size. So right sides together. Go ahead and clip it at that short edge and then we are going to sew it at the seam allowance given in the pattern. I guess we probably should have basted that down. That's what I get for not checking. So we probably want to baste down the exterior gusset and then come over and sew down your lining at the seam allowance given in the pattern, but it's not a big deal. Okay, so I have my lining and exterior attached on one side. And so, yeah, you should base down the exterior first and then come back and place your lining and then do the normal seam allowance. All right, so now what we're gonna do is place it so that 
your exterior is right sides together right here and this time I will follow directions and face this down so you've got your lining that's just kind of hanging out don't worry about that right now go ahead and clip the small the shortest edges together and face that in place all right so my exterior are now baste it in place. So now what we're going to do is go ahead and place this so that the lining is now right sides together. And we're going to clip on that edge and sew this together at the seam allowance as given in the pattern. All right, so now that is done. Let's go ahead and flip it so that we are looking at the exterior. And now we're going to go ahead and pull this back and top stitch on both sides where we connected the gusset, okay, at an eighth of an inch seam allowance. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start clipping along the gusset edges, and we're gonna go ahead and baste those edges together. All right, so I have my gusset all clipped together. I'm gonna go ahead and sew both sides together at an eighth of an inch seam allowance. I'm gonna flip this like this so that it's on the bed of my machine um, and sew this down. Okay, so this is basted together. Go ahead and flip it so it's right sides out. Um, or does it matter? Anyway, what we're gonna do is mark our center. So I'm gonna place it so that my seams are together. That's gonna be our center mark. And then I'm gonna go ahead and snip into both sides, just little tiny triangles here. We're gonna do that on both sides. Okay, so since we have snipped our centers in the gusset, we're gonna go ahead and grab our main panels and mark our centers on that. So what you're gonna do is fold in half, match up those sides, and we're gonna snip, or you can mark, snip that center there. Do the same thing on the other side. And then now we're gonna go ahead and fold the other side in half, match up those centers right here at the curve and fold in half and snip. There we go. And now we'll go ahead and do the same thing on the other main panel. All right, centers are now marked. So what we're gonna do is I'm going to flip this so that it is lining side out. What I'm going to do is I'm not really sure the best way to do this. I'm just going to go ahead and clip this corner real quick. And then I'm going to go ahead and clip my corner. I may end up doing this completely different, but I'm going to try my corners first. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and start clipping this down. So when you look at it, they should be right sides together. All right, and then lining side together. Just do the best that you can. If you need to make snips, you can do it into the gusset within the seam allowance. Don't snip into your main panel. All right, let's go ahead and attach, attach this down. Okay, so I've got my gusset attached to the main panel. Now, I didn't have to snip into anything. I just carefully did the straight edges and then worked on my corners. When I sew this down, I will be using my screwdriver to help keep my seams flat. This is from Mormino. I do not use a stiletto. I always cut myself with those, so I don't use those, but if that's what you like to use, 
go for it. But using those, using something to help keep those seams flat and especially going around the curves can be really helpful. So let's go ahead and sew this down at the seam allowance given in the pattern. All right, so that is all done. I did turn it right side out. I do have a couple little tiny pleats, um, but they're little teeny tiny. I'm not really worried about that. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and open up the zipper and I'm gonna do the same thing with the other main panel and just match up all of my center marks and start clipping the edge and then we will sew this down at the seam allowance that's given in the pattern and then after that's done we will start adding our binding and then we will be all done with this. I think that um, my fabric did shift a little bit while I was sewing so it's not exactly centered but that's okay. It's just a bag for my daughter, so she is not going to care. All right, so let's go ahead and clip all of this together and sew it down and get this all completed. All right, we have this all together. I turned it over to make sure it looked okay. This side actually did a lot better than the other side I started off with. So now I'm going to go ahead and grab my um, elastic, my fold over elastic. And then I forgot to mention I'll be using one of these. This is, if it will focus, it is a custom woven label from Mormino. I'll place the link down below. All right, so now what we're going to do is start attaching our binding and you can use waterproof canvas for this or fold over elastic or whatever it is you like to use and I'm just going to start at the top no one's really going to notice the top part so I'm just going to fold it over that raw edge and I'm going to just start clipping all around and I'm going to do both sides and sew it all down all at the same time all right, so let's go ahead and get this attached and then we'll be all done. We'll flip it right sides to right sides out and that'll be it. All right, this is looking really pretty. All right, here we go. Everything is attached. I've got my woven label in here and I'm gonna go ahead and start sewing all of this together and this is gonna be really cute. All right, guys, let's go ahead and finish this up. All right, so we're done putting the binding on. We can go ahead and carefully flip this so it's right side out. Push out all your corners. All right, so I have already made my wristlet strap. I did that off camera. Uh, so all we just need to do is attach this. And here we are. That is really cute. Um, it is kind of thick on the seams right here, but other than that, it'll be the perfect little wristlet for my daughter. She's going to love it. That looks really good. I love the hot pink inside. All right. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, if you want a full tutorial on how to make this bag, you can check out So Majestic. She has a full tutorial on how to make this bag. Um, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you will stay along for the marathon today and watch who's next. And if you missed anyone from earlier today, there will be a playlist or if you'd like to check out the link tree, you can go and see anyone who was before me. And then um, if you're not able to check them out this afternoon, you can always go back and watch any of them at any time you'd like. Um, again, thank you so much for joining me today. And if you wouldn't mind, please consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video so that other people can see it. All right, guys, thank you so much. And you guys have a great day and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.